YouTube, hope you're well. Um, this is gonna be my review of the, of the Harrier, Hazer Harrier 48 Pro. Uh, they do three sizes, 41, 48, and 56. Now, the 41's had a big revamp. Uh, it's got a Honda engine on it. Lots of, lots of features that's been put into the 41 that hasn't been implemented to the 48 or the 56. Um, wow, what can I say? I've had it about four months, five maximum. I don't think I've had it that long. And out of that time, it's been in the, in the shop or back to the shop four times. One was to have its oil changed after its first five hours, which is pretty standard for any new, new lawnmower that's just been broken in. Um, and the other two, three times, so two of the three times, it's had new wheel front wheels put on because the bearings have just not lasted. They're literally, I mean, the second time I went and the gentleman said, you will get some play in them. Well, I expect them to be a bit of play in wheels, you know, but when you get between uh, five and 10 mil and the wheels sit like that, or when you get one that's gone and one that hasn't, one sits like that and you, you're walking along, it makes it so difficult to try and make a straight line or just go in one way when the, the mower's trying to drag you whichever way the wheels fall in. Um, well, I'm, I'm struggling with this one because I've really wanted, I bought a new mower, which is a, which is a one that I'm reviewing today, beginning of this year because I wanted a new reliable mower. Um, and it turns out it's not. I go out not actually wanting to take this mower because I feel it's unreliable, not very easy to handle, and not very comfortable to use. Um, it is a commercial machine. They do do a domestic version of this machine. Um, now I've had them in the past, but they're second hand and I'm not gonna review them because I don't think it's fair. Um, <coughs> no. What do I like about it? The one lever for the height adjustment. A colour. It's quite a nice easy colour. Nice easy and nice. It's not bright blue, bright yellow. You know, it's grey black. I think it says it all. I think Hater have really sold out. Um, I don't know if they've done it before. Toro would join them, or or not. But you know, they've put. Um, this is the words from the guy in the shop. They have put, or they have kept, a, com a domestic engine on a commercial machine. Why would you do that? You've changed the forty-one. Why not change forty-eight and fifty-six? I pretty much understand why. It's because the 41 is probably the most popular. Um, so you, you develop what works for you. But, you know, there are people out there that do use the others. Um, I can't really say that I'm, I use the machine a hell of a lot because, like, you know, the first two days of my week are either fencing, hedge removal, or laying patios, that sort of thing, uh, other than gardening. So then the next three days, are made up of gardening uh, and I'm more of a gardener than a, the lawn care so you know I do cut grass but it's normally the same same lawns week in and week out rather than you know 20 lawns a day um, there is one day a fortnight that I do have 13 lawns to cut on one day excuse me um, so it's not a machine that is used heavily and out of the four or five months I've had this machine, I've had problems, and I shouldn't really. Um, the last problem I had, excuse me, um, it went in because, I mean, I've always had a problem with the revs being slightly too low and it not really wanting to pick up. I think there's only been one time I've had this machine and I was quite impressed with it and it cut grass in the wet and it shoots all the way to the back and not out the bottom. And that's the main issue. This thing does not fill the bag. I can cut grass. The last lawn I cut was the other day. Um, 
And I was literally skimming it. I mean, you know what the weather's been like. It's been dry, the grass ain't grown. Um, I did the top lawn. Um, came down to do the bottom lawn, stopped the mower, and I had trouble, trouble starting it. So the last time I went to the shop, I had trouble starting it, and every time I did start, it was like really low on power. You know, and it, it's gone from one pull to eight to ten pulls before it will start. Um, you know, it, I got to the bottom lawn, it struggled to start, and then after that, the revs were just slightly low. I've tried it just in the, the throttle cable, but you know, there's only so much you can do. Um, and yeah, this this mower just seems to want to chuck it out the bottom. It will get, it will fill so much of the bag, and as soon as there's any slight resistance, it just fills the chute and chucks it out the bottom. And you can take the bag off and it, and shake the bag down and it'll be only be half full. Um, I would understand if it was wet, it was really long, so the grass is heavy, but at the minute, I'm literally just skimming the lawns, just taking off either the plantain flower heads or like minuscule amount of grass, because obviously if we take the grass off now, it's just gonna kill it even more. Um, you know, what are you doing, hater? It's just a shame. Um, you could have had a really good mower. I feel, you know, this. I paid 900 for this. I've seen it a little bit cheaper and I've seen it a little bit dearer. Um, I don't think it's a cheap mower. I don't think it's the most expensive because it's obviously higher price. But I feel that if you either put a commercial Briggs on or a Honda engine on this machine, you'll change the performance. The handling of the machine, I really don't like. I'm not too sure why. I think I've explained it in another video that that aluminium deck is such a big chunk of metal that when you're going down an even grass, I mean, let's face it, we don't live in a perfect world. I'd love every, everyone's lawn to be perfectly flat, stable, and you look little look beautiful, but it's not like that, right? So this big hunk of aluminium, when it rides the grass, if there's any variations in the grass, any bumps, rather than just having a slight twist in it, just handling it, it just floats in the air and just, yeah, it's horrible. Um, I've got to a point where I actually really prefer to take out the little Honda Izzy. It's comfier. I'd say it's lighter, but then that's a bit unfair on the on the hater because at the end of the day, the hater is a bigger machine. It's a roller, so you've got steel on there. Um, yeah, what a shame. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, Start rambling, because you're probably sick of looking at my face. I'm going to take the camera outside. You'll have to excuse me, I left the tripod uh, at a customer's house, so you're propped up on a box at the minute and then I have to hold you. But what I do is I'll go get the mirror out, do a review. Um, I'll see if I can start it. I've got a video of me trying to start it on that lawn that I was talking about. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is the mirror in question. It is a, can you see that, 2017 model, what's that? So, what can I say? Looks the part, doesn't really work. This is the uh, colour obviously, and the uh, height adjuster. Now when you bring it up, you are meant to One hand you're meant to hold the handle and bring it back. Uh, let's try and start it. It is a cold start. Trying 
again. He was making me out to be a liar. Okay. So it's making me out to be a liar. Uh, I'll put the video up anyway. We were trying to start it the other day. I've just done a few. Just cut my lawn. And well, straw. There we go. I do like these bars that they put on commercial machines. Um, it supports the uh, handles quite well. There's no unique feature to the hater. Hey. Just out of curiosity. Okay guys, I, as you've just seen, that's basically like a little overview. Um, the handle is a little easy, but I was holding the camera, <coughs> excuse me, um, so I couldn't quite show you the, the workings of it. Um, all I know, it's a nice looking mower, but unfortunately for commercial, I don't think it's worth it. Um, the the mower's just made me out to be a liar as well, as usual. Every time I've taken it into the shop, said there's something wrong with it, I decided to buy it like this last time. They ran it for an hour, stopped it. Um, you wouldn't find anything wrong. Whereas the lawn straight after when I picked it up, like I said, I cut the top one, pushed it down to the bottom, tried starting it again, which you'll see the video. I'll put that, I will put that video in so no, don't make me out to be too much of a liar. Um, but as you see on that, on the video, I've just cut my lawn, I've just shown you it. I've just shown you it and then I've cut the lawn in between. You, if you didn't, I don't know if you noticed, but as it got warmer, it didn't really struggle to start, but it, it did. If you, if you know what your engine sounds like or should sound like, you'll probably spot it straight away. There's one thing I've noticed about that mirror as well. It blows out a little bit of black smoke at the start. It's not something that continues, it just puffs it out. I don't know if that's meant to, if it's a problem or not. Um, but it'd be a reason why the spark plug, the last time it went in, was all caked up. Um, so let's conclude this up because I'm fed up of it. Um, would I buy another one again? No. Even domestic, I won't buy one. Would I recommend it? Probably not. Because I won't buy one myself, so I won't recommend it. Is there some improvements? I think so. Um, like I said, when there's more bad than good, right? I like. I really want to make some positive videos. Like I said, I've got some about the hedge trim and the cobra that I use, um, and they're all pretty positive. But you know. This, unfortunately not. Um, I have bought a new mower, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, but I'll do a review on that once I've been using it. But obviously you see my brass and everybody else is exactly the same. Um, and I I shouldn't, but I have been watering mine, but it's not made a difference. Um, so there you go. I hope you're all well. Uh, I'm trying to keep busy. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.